do, YouTube fans? Your boy FLA back again with another little quick video. It's gonna be a short little sweet update video. Um, as you know, I installed the LED snorkel lights on my charger. Um, I had a tire little incident on 95 where I had to get a whole new tire, new hood, and new lights and everything. So the second go around, I ended up wiring them up a little bit differently. Um, I think it's a better way. Uh, with the previous installation on the first video, I don't know, sometimes like the way I wired them up, I guess the it was draining too much power from the DL, uh, the DRLs or something, and they would seem like dimish. Every once in a while, they would like dim or something. Like, I don't know if it wasn't getting constant power or what, but uh, the second go around, I ended up wiring them up a little differently. I haven't had no issues since then. And I think it's an easier way of install. And if you got small or medium sized hands like me, um, you ain't even got to drop the bumper. I didn't even have to remove the bumper this second go around. So, you know, after having quite a few requests and, you know, comments, people asking to do an update video on the new way of installing them. And, you know, I'm just going to bring y'all the knowledge and y'all can choose which way y'all want to do it. But I'm just going to show you how I did it the second go around like I do. And, um... I'll have a, a link in the description where I got these lights. If you're planning on doing this to your charger, uh, first time on the channel, you already know. Hit that subscribe, comment, share, all that, man. Support. Holla at your boy. I'm out here. Let's get it. All right. Here we go. Uh, what's it called? You know, I'm not going to remove this air box, but uh, when you go to install it, you're going to have to remove this air box. That way you have plenty of room to work and get into the connectors you have here. But I'm gonna show you on this side, you know. So basically the lights come with four wires. It's gonna come with two little black hoses like like as you see there. One hose is gonna have a red and black uh, wire. Uh, so you know, obviously the red is power, black is ground. And as you see, the ground is right there. I grounded it there. And um, the same on the other side. So that's one wire gone. Then you go have a green and yellow wire. The green is for the DRL and yellow is for the turn signal. You know, obviously yellow turn signal. And the yellow, I want to say connects to pin number five. And the green is pin number four, DRL. So basically you get these little splice, you know, splice connectors. They sell all sorts of different types. I went with these because you can add like a tab, you know, one of them flat tabs on one side of the wire and then you splice it into the wire. As you see, you crimp the wire and then you just basically slide the tab into the connector. So it's real easy. Um, you know, as you see, it's waterproof. It's got like plastic around it and stuff. So then you just wire the green into tab number four, five. Hold on, let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, so the green is going to be number four. Pin number four. Um, let me see. It's looking like an orange wire. It's white with orange, I think. Orange or red. And you just place it in there. And then the yellow goes into pin number five. And that is... can't even see what color it is real quick. Let me see. Looking like a brown or something. Brown. And that's the yellow. And as you see, the tab goes in there. You just push the tabs in the end of the connectors, and that's it. Then you're left with a red wire. The red wire, I basically spliced them into the power wire on the side, side, uh, side marker. So basically, you just take out these three little push pins right here. You get your hand in there. You find the wire that's uh the power to the side markers. I'm pretty sure you know is there's gonna be like a dark dark colored wire, so that's your ground, and um, which you ain't even gotta mess with. You just gotta find the power one, which is probably the colored one, and then you just splice it in there. And then, like I said, the ground is over here, and that's your four connectors, and boom, it's connected. So basically. You put the, the light in there first, and you feed the wires, and there's like a hole up in here. And you could just, you know, feed the wires. You could either use a coat hanger or use your hand like I did, 
you know, it's real tight, but you see, you could get up in there and then you just walk, you know, grab the wires. Here it is right here. There's a hole. See my hand? There's a hole deep up in here. You just grab the wires and feed them through and you ain't even got to drop the bumper, man. So wire them up like that. I did the same over here. And that's it, man. Wire them to the side markers. Literally, probably like 30, 45 minutes, man. You gotta have these installed, man. Real simple. So, you know, just passing down the knowledge to y'all. Let me turn them on, show y'all. So, basically, wiring them up this way. Anytime your side markers are on or parking lamps, I would say, you know, your parking lights, um, the snorkel lights will be on. So, you know, as long as the car is on or your lights are on, you know, parking lights, not you ain't even got to have the headlights on, just the parking lights. And as you see, they're on. Haven't had no issues. You see, they're bright, constant power, no dimming, nothing. So, you know, to me, I think it's a better way of install. Just showing y'all a quick little update. So you already know. Got any questions, hit the comment section. First time on the channel, hit that subscribe. The one thing I will say about these lights, boys, you see one already got like a little chip right here. Because the freaking rocks riding behind these Hellcats, these boys up here. You see? So, it's got like a little, little scratch, but it ain't like cracked all the way through where water's getting in or nothing like that. So, it ain't too bad yet. But even if they mess up, man, they're like $90, $100 lights. So, it's not like a crazy investment. Even if one goes out. You could easily just buy another set, so it ain't too bad, but yeah, I'll let your boy, FLA Hemi, over and out, hit that subscribe, on to the next one, let's get it. Just like a hammer.